When working with logs, it's important to recognize the three distinct parts of a log or exponential expression. There is the base of the exponent, which is the same as the base of the log. There is the exponent part of the expression, which is what the log is equal to. The log is an exponent. And then there is the calculation for the exponent, which is the argument or the input of a log. There's also the change of base formula, which is quite useful. Okay, so if we want to change the log to any base, we can change it to any base x, doing using a ratio of the log of the, the argument with the log of the base. There's also another very useful feature of logs where another useful feature of logs where we can power the base and the exponent, uh, sorry, the base and the log, the argument, we can power the same and it's equivalent to the original log. Okay, so this is a very useful property as well. So when we're solving the these problems, we need to decide if we are undoing exponents or undoing uh, powers. Okay, so when I talk about undoing exponents, we're talking about an exponent in the, the a variable in the exponent. When we're undoing powers, we're talking about powers in the exponent or a numerical value of the exponent. So in this case here, we are undoing the power. So we can undo powers with opposites. So here I'm going to use an opposite power, power of 4, power of 4. And that will give us the, the value of the x by itself. And so when I do on my calculator 3.2 to the power of 4, I end up with about 104.8576. So I'm going to say 104.86 approximately. Here we have an exponent, the variable and exponent. So we need to undo this using a log. So we, when we convert this to a log, we're going to have a base, okay, the base of the log and the base of the exponent are the same. It's going to equal the exponent, which is x, and then the argument is that part there. So if our calculator doesn't do base 7 logs, we can always change this to a base 10 log by using the change of base formula. And that's going to give us the value of x. So in this case, when I do the value of x, I get log 4 divided by log 7. And that's going to give us 0.7124. So I'm just going to round that to 0 0.712. When we have logs and exponents, we know that if the base of the log and the base of the exponent are related, this is they are compatible and we can do uh, this without a calculator. So a few things that we can do here. So one thing is I could change this base of the, the argument. So the base of the argument here, I can change it to a base nine. And I can do it this way. So log base nine. And then instead of three, I'm going to use three squared to the power of 6. Okay, so then this becomes log base 9 of 9 to the power of 6, and by definition, that's equal to 6. So an alternative way is we could use this useful little formula here, and I can power uh, bases, and I can power uh, use powers or roots to uh, to change the base of the log and, and the argument. So I can take 9 and square root it and take 3 to the power 12 and square root that. And that's going to be equivalent to the original expression. So I'm just going to put a, this separately. So this becomes log of 3, 3 to the power of 6. And again, we get the same answer of 6 here. So same reasoning can be applied for the D. 
the base four and the base two are related, so we can relate them to each other. So one thing we could do here is we can change this to base two by rewriting it in this manner. Okay, and we can do the same here. We can make this two to the power two to the power log two of three x. And we end up with a base two log. Powers and logs are opposites of each other. So this, by definition, these will undo each other and we'll be left with x squared. We can do the same thing here. We end up with two log base two. Make sure you power the three and the x. And again, by definition, if it's log base two and to the power two, by definition, it must equal that argument, which is nine x squared. So this works out to be nine x to the power four. So that would be one way we could do this. We could do this changing this to the logs to base four. So I can say log base two of x squared, or sorry, x. I can power the base, power the argument, and do the same for the other log. So four log base two to the three x, I can power the base, I can power the argument, and I end up with log, sorry, four, four to the power log base four of x squared. This is equal to x squared. This becomes four log base four of nine x squared. And again, this becomes times nine x squared. And we end up with the same solution as we had before.